things I ride in Wet or dry, the weather sun Welcome to our melanin Family floor What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, how you doing? I'm Melanin and this is Melanin Family Vlogs and on this channel we do a whole lot of as you can tell by the title of this video i'm gonna tell you about how i ran away from my baby yes i ran away from my fucking baby but before we get into this video i need y'all to hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications and share this video with a friend or family member because i am trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2021 so y'all know the drill i'm about to take a little sippity sip Give y'all a chance to subscribe and then we'll get into this video. Did you subscribe? You turned on your post notifications? So you can be notified every single time that I upload a new video on this channel? Cool! Welcome to the family then! Welcome to the family! I try to upload three times a week. I need to come up with a, you know, a consistent day. But I am uploading three videos per week in 2021. And so far, so good. But y'all, let's get straight into this video. Anyway, so when I had my oldest daughter, when I got pregnant with my oldest daughter, I was 16 years old. And I had her when I was 17 years old. When I first had my daughter... Clearly, I didn't know what I was doing because I was a baby myself. So, when I had her, I thought that she didn't like me, y'all. Like, I legit thought that she didn't like me. Like, I would, like, cry all the time. And I would tell my mom that, you know, my grandma, my grandmothers, my great-grandmother and my grandmother, they both came to spend some time with me to help me, you know, get into the groove of things of being a parent, being a single parent, and teaching me how to be a mom. And she would always, like stop crying whenever they were around like but when she, when I was holding her she would cry all the time I mean y'all she was always crying I just did not understand so I am with my baby 16 like this baby just won't stop crying I don't understand why is she crying so much and then I give it to my grandmother here you know hold her and she's done crying the crying is, is, is done so I'm like, this baby don't like me. And quiet as it's kept, I don't think I like this baby. So I did what any boss teenager would do. I ran away to my boyfriend's house. Now, before I left, this is before text messaging, I did the dummy and called my friend and was like, Portia, I'm running away to Jamal's house. And don't tell my mom, but I just want you to know because I know they're going to ask you where I'm at. And I just want you to play it off and not tell them where I'm at, but I don't want you to worry about me, okay? She was like, okay, or whatever. So I run away. Now, at this time, the guy that I was dating, his name was Jamal, he was living in his grandma's basement, y'all. Now, I grew up in suburban Minnesota and my mom got our house built we had I'd come from a very nice background I ain't never lived in the hood at this point I never none of that like I've never lived where I could hear gunshots or anything of that nature so when I moved from well when I ran away from my mom's suburban Minnesota home to the south side of Minneapolis. First of all, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. And his grandma was a very Christian lady. Like, she was very into church. She wasn't into, you know, some people's parents ain't into that shack enough. You ain't spending the night. He was 18, and, you know, so 18, you think you're grown, but she didn't care how grown you was. You ain't having nobody spend the night in her house unless y'all married. So not only did I run away, but I was sneaking in this woman's house and his room was downstairs and luckily she was like overweight and very old not luckily but at that time 
I guess luckily she was like overweight and very old so she never came down into the basement so I literally hid in the basement for like a week straight and during that week I had to wait until she went to bed to take a shower I only brought two outfits I don't know how I planned on running away with two outfits that's how you knew I was a kid I only brought two outfits and I had to shower when she was in bed now they had like this little like bathroom downstairs it was like literally just the toilet down there so I was able to use the bathroom during the day and like I brought me some noodles <laughs> I bought me some noodles because I didn't want to have to depend on their food so I, fe I felt like buying me a box of noodles was like sufficient and that was, was gonna keep me but you know how sick of noodles I was by day three and he was like his like everybody in the house knew I was there except for his grandma so his sister knew I was down there his brother knew I was down there and clearly he knew I was down there so he was leaving doing what he do during the day and like I said this is before cell phones so I was not able to call him and see where he was at or nothing like that like this is like right when prepaid cell phones were out so I think that maybe maybe I want to say he possibly had a prepaid cell phone but I didn't take I didn't take my phone with me because I was a runaway I didn't want nobody to be able to find me and I, it's not like I could pick up their house phone so I would be sitting in their basement in the dark at for a long time with a tv on like three watching tv in this creepy basement that was not a finished basement it was like just a normal basement like where people would just have like a washer and dryer but he made it into a bedroom and so like there was like a mattress and rock spring on the floor with like a rug and it was just so scary and I'm just like down there crying because I was like missing my baby I wanted to go home but I was sad that she didn't like me I was just so confused at that point like honestly I was so confused so fast forward to like day six I guess my mom and Portia's mom got tired of playing games with us because I, I ended up calling her like one day from some kind of way I think his grandma left I think she went to church like to Bible study or something so I was able to use the phone I called Portia let her know I was okay she's like what's the address to where you're at and I'm like why but me being dumb I gave her the address she's like just in case you know just in case something happens so I gave her the address and three freaking days later well you know my mom no Portia said that she called Jamal and told him that she wanted to bring me some clothes like some clean clothes and some things so he basically was like she's gonna be pulling up at this time whatever so at it was like right when the sun was going down and that's when his grandma went to bed my mom pulled up but Portia called and said that they were on their way so we were waiting for my mom outside I mean waiting for her and her mom outside but come to find out my mom came and I honestly didn't get in trouble like I thought I was gonna get in trouble because my mom was just so happy that I was okay and she just didn't understand like why the hell did you run away and then she was explaining to me that you can't run away and she was saying how my daughter was looking for me and I'm like yeah right but then after that my daughter's like fell in love with me and I learned as I got older that it wasn't that she did not like me she could sense how nervous I was every time I was holding her I'm gonna insert a couple of pictures you can see the nerves in my face like in these pictures of how nervous I was like taking care of my daughter because I did not know what I was doing like I was 17 I didn't know what I was doing and now I can't get her ass away from me she's stuck to my hip like fucking the elastic on my panties literally so yeah that is the time I ran away from my child I would not recommend teenagers teen girls teen moms if you're watching this video and you feel like your baby does not like you I suggest just taking some parenting classes my mom suggested that and I'm like I don't need to do that because I know I babysat so I figured I knew how to be a mom but in reality I didn't so just take some parenting classes and just try to relax because like I said your kids can sense you know your emotions and your nervousness and they just knew that my mom and my grandparents were like they weren't new to this they was true to this and so Shallon knew that 
she was in safe arms and in good hands when when they were holding her so yeah that is the end of this video comment down below if you were a teen mom and you felt that way or comment down below if you are a teen mom and you're expecting and you feel nervous and you don't know what to expect but make sure you like comment subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every single time that i upload a video please like this video let's get this video to 30 likes 30 likes that's not too much we can do it let's get this video to 30 likes and um if we can get this video to 30 likes i will do a freaking Amazon gift card giveaway so let's get this video to 30 likes and let's get this get my subscribers up to 1500 subscribers and I will do a $50 Amazon gift card giveaway so I will see you guys in the next one bye